Exploration Education's Advanced Physical Science course is an excellent choice for your student and can be taken either in junior high or early high school. This easily implemented course covers all of the national science standards for physical science. The 150 lessons are broken down into 36 chapters, with each chapter having five lessons. So the student completes five lessons each week as they progress through the school year. The course covers forces, machines, motion, energy, sound, light, chemistry, magnetism, and electricity. Students also explore the periodic table, chemical bonds and reactions, the chemistry of food and living systems, the physics of the earth and solar system, thermodynamics, and fluid dynamics. Students begin each lesson by reading the interactive student text on the computer. The first three lessons of any chapter are what we call foundational lessons. Although most of these foundational lessons will be new material for the student, some may be review. Our goal is to bring every student, regardless of their science background, up to the same level before diving deeper into the subject with the last two lessons of each chapter. This lesson is from our electricity unit and is a good example of a typical foundational lesson. The first page introduces students to what a series circuit is. The next page shows how, in a series circuit, if one bulb goes out, the entire circuit goes out. Students answer multiple choice questions as they go through each lesson. Next, the student learns about parallel circuits and how even if one bulb goes out, the other can stay on because there is a second path for the electricity. Again, they would answer a question. But the beauty of this course is that after every lesson, there will always be an experiment or activity. The students follow the scientific method, coming up with their own hypothesis, which they write down into their logbook. Next, the lesson walks the student through how to set up their experiment with step-by-step -step instructions. In this experiment, they will take their circuit, set it up as a series circuit, take out a bulb, and write down what happens. Later, they will set it up as a parallel circuit, repeat the experiment, but with a different result. To briefly show the difference between a foundational and a more in-depth lesson, let's take a look at Chapter 7 from the Forces and Machines section. These first three foundational lessons are laid out like the one we just went through. In this chapter, the students are studying machines, levers and fulcrums, incline planes and ramps. But in the last two lessons, the student will dive a lot deeper, learning about machines, heat exchange, and heat engines. There is a bit more reading involved in these lessons. On the first page, the student will learn that heat always flows from hot to cold. Students will answer questions. Next, they will learn about the internal combustion engine and how it uses this heat flow and difference in temperature to function. Another question, and then they are introduced to natural heat engines, which a hurricane is. The warm ocean and cool atmosphere are the difference in temperature. As the column of air rises, it creates a vortex. Last, it ties it all back into one of their projects, in this case the steamboat, explaining how it is able to run by utilizing the difference in temperature between the hot boiler and the cold water. Aside from the interactive text, the course also comes with a student logbook. This is where the students will record answers to their questions, write out their hypothesis, experiment data, and theories. When they get to the fourth lesson of each chapter, they will have their written answers, and then in the last lesson of most chapters, the student will complete a formal lab write-up. At the beginning of each section, there's a vocabulary word list. The students will learn these words and then be quizzed on them. They will also complete eight section review quizzes. Our advanced course also comes with quarter exams. One of the unique things we do is that the week before the exam, the lesson is on preparing for the exam. The students will get out their review materials and do a big review that day, and then every day the next week they will complete their regular lessons and then have a short review for the exam. Our goal is to teach the students to pace themselves in their study. In the first chapter of each section, the students will have their regular lessons, but in these activities they will build their projects, in this case the car and glider. Then, they will use the car and glider in most of the experiments following these lessons. When they get to a new section, they will build a new project, in this case the circuit, and use it in the experiments following these lessons. The teacher's manual that comes with the course has answers to the questions, sample hypothesis and theories, a page on assessment with an easy point system, and the quarter exams. Our physical science curriculum includes all the materials, the interactive student text on CD, the student logbook, teacher's manual, and of course, all the materials for the projects and experiments. 
We even include things like dowels, templates, decals, pH paper, paper clips, string, nails, and balloons. If you're looking for a solid, thorough, hands-on, student-friendly physical science curriculum, then Exploration Education Science would be a great fit for you.